classification of elements and periodicity in properties. Periodic classification of elements. In the last lesson, you have studied about the structure of atoms and their electronic configurations. You have also studied that elements with similar electronic configurations show similar chemical properties. Electrons are filled in various shells and subshells in a fairly regular fashion. Therefore, properties of elements are repeated periodically. Such trends in their physical and chemical properties were noticed by chemists in the 19th century and attempts were made to classify elements on their basis long before structure of atom was known. In this lesson, we shall study about the earlier attempts for classification. The first successful classification, which included all the known elements at that time, namely Mandelaev's periodic table, and about the long form of modern periodic table, which is an improvement over Mandelaev's work. Finally, we shall learn about some properties of elements and their variations in the periodic table. Objectives After completing this lesson, you will be able to State the importance of periodic classification and periodic table State main features of Mandelaev's periodic table State modern periodic law Describe the features of the long form of periodic table State S, P, D and F blocks and their properties Define various periodic properties. Discuss the trends in various periodic properties in the periodic table. Understand lanthanide contraction and actinide contraction. Let us start learning the concepts of periodic classification and periodic properties. Concept of grouping elements based on their properties. There are about 111 known elements and 7 elements yet to be confirmed. Among these 118 elements, 92 elements are available in the elemental form. Remaining 26 elements are man-made elements. Classification of these elements is very important to understand common properties and periodic trends among these 118 elements. Scientists like John Dobrainer, 1829, John Alexander Newlands, 1865, and Lothar Mayer, 1869, gave different kinds of classifications, but they would not become popular. Dobrainer's Triads In 1829, Dobrainer, a German scientist, made some groups of three elements each and called them triads. All three elements of a triad were similar in their properties. He observed that the atomic mass of the middle element of a triad was nearly equal to the arithmetic mean of atomic masses of other two elements. Also, same was the case with their other properties. Let us take the example of three elements, lithium, sodium and potassium. They form Dobrainer's triad. Lithium, Li, 7. Sodium, Na, 23. Potassium, K, 39. Mean of the atomic masses of the first Li and the third K elements, 7 plus 39 by 2 is equal to 23U. The atomic mass of the middle element, sodium, Na is equal to 23U. De Brainer's idea of classification of elements into triads did not receive wide acceptance, as he could arrange only a few elements in this manner. The next breakthrough in classification of elements came in the form of Mendeleev's work. In 